Wombo has put a tremendous sound system in its new projector. But not only does it sound good, but it significantly increases the ANSI lumens of your new Mozart one. Digital greetings to all. Sooner or later it had to happen. Wombo had to wake up and it did so in a big way with its new model, the Mozart One. A projector for the home, which wants to change the way we see content. In Mozart One, Wombo has worked on two concepts, very important for every projector, brightness and sound. As it launches its projector with the highest brightness of all, 900 ANSI lumens and with an integrated sound system with the quality of an independent Bluetooth speaker. Stay to see the Mozart One and see how I tried it, because you can buy this one with my coupon and even with free shipping my friend. Let's go with its unboxing. They sent me the Mozart one, which is Wombo's latest bet to put a powerful projector in your home. Inside the box, we find the new Wombo projector, a power cable for AC, a remote control in a nice white color and a small user guide. This projector weighs three and a half kilos since it integrates the fountain inside. Wombo has named it after the genius of classical music, Mozart and later we will find out why. Taking a closer look, you can see that the finish is of very good quality, without being premium of course. It has a large grill, which is all heatsink, its camera for autofocus and a large projection lens on a piano black background, protected with a mica so that it does not get scratched. There is nothing on this side, but it measures 21 centimeters deep, which makes it the largest of the brand. On the other side it has an acoustic output in a nice silver detail which not only makes it look very pro, but also a power system. Above it has its power button in gold with the word Wombo, which will light up while it is working and at the back its power connection to the internal power supply, the air access grill and the stereo sound output grill. As ports it has two USB inputs, one HDMI input, one infrared receiver and one audio output. And at the bottom it has four rubber feet and this useful tap which when raised serves to give it an inclination angle of 7 degrees to obtain a better projection. The Mozart One, an aesthetically well-designed and solidly built projector, has been launched by Wombo for $399 although with my discount coupon it can cost you $319. Currently, it is the only projector from Wombo with a dedicated sound system and that could offset the extra expense since it is like having a projector and a speaker. This is a powerful device, with very attractive specifications since it has 900 ANSI lumens, 2GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. It integrates an exclusive sound system and the latest connection technologies, such as Bluetooth 5 and Dual Band WIFI 6. With the Mozart One, Wombo launches its new Pixel Pro 5.0 technology, based on innovative completely closed optics machines, and to test it they even do a test with talcum powder and compressed air to contaminate it inside. But nothing, the image is still clean and clear, and with proof like this, it does make you buy it. And that's why I found out some pleasant news. Wombo now has its online store, and here you can find and buy a Wombo projector for yourself. If you look for the Mozart one, and put it in the shopping cart, you will see that the price says $399, but if in this drawer, you put my coupon MOZART1JAVI and click apply, you will get a generous discount of $80 less my friend. The good thing is that, for these countries in America, shipping is free. But for these others, shipping costs $40. The truth is I don't know why, but you'll see if it suits you or not. Now I will connect to Mozart 1 to see what its projection is like. The first thing the system does is frame and autofocus. With light in my room I can see relatively well, and when I turn off the lights, it will obviously look much better. The first thing I notice is the fluidity of the system. It moves very quickly between content and applications. When you click on the configuration wheel, the menu on the right will open with the typical options for a projector. The Mozart One has three selectable image modes and one customizable, and it also has six sound modes, which is one of the strengths of this projector. In the information you will find its version, resolution and internal memory sizes and various types of projection, because you can also attach it upside down on the ceiling. 
In addition, it integrates digital zoom from 50 to 100%, the four-corner trapezoidal correction system and an improved autofocus system, although you can also do this manually from the remote control. The Wi-Fi connection has been excellent during these tests, and I have it on my Wi-Fi 6 network. In one of my past videos, I told you that I changed my Wi-Fi 5 network to the new Wi-Fi 6 precisely for this, because most modern devices now integrate Wi-Fi 6 and you have to take advantage of that feature. But any projector makes no sense. If you don't have all the streaming platforms then my friend, and in this QR code I invite you to discover Gamsga where you can buy four platforms such as Netflix, Prime Video, HBO Max, and Disney+, Plus, all for the price of one. After having calibrated the colors to my liking, I can observe two relevant things in the Mozart 1 projection. First, at this moment, I am on my white screen, and despite that the brightness is very good, you already know that when you project on a white screen, a percentage of the light is lost because it is reflected to all points of the room and not directly to your eyes because a white screen is not selective, and that is why gray screens exist, reflective, which are selective. So, if you see it on a white screen, I want to see how it will look on a gray screen, and later you will also see it. The other is that this is a 120 inches projection, and this is how it looks, the colors are good, not as saturated in my calibration, but at least you can customize them in the user's category. I am happy to see that Wanbo wants to move to a new level of projection, but I do know that even with medium light, you will be able to enjoy this projector and that is already a pretty good plus, because the projectors can be counted on the fingers of the hand. That can be seen well with light. Let's get straight to the point. I have a white screen here, and it will be ideal for measuring the light output of the Mozart 1. But to make it fair, as with all my projectors, this one should also be one meter away. Once measured, I press a button to freeze the measurement and see how much I got. 12 Olux is a record among my projectors and surpasses Mekul's KP2 by about 100, so this will be a worthy rival for an upcoming versus. In the absence of images, Believe me, despite its size, the Mozart one does not make much noise. At one meter away, it generates about 41 decibels, and the truth is, it is more the noise of the street than that of the projector fans. Already with a movie at 50% volume, the sound power is about 82 decibels, that is enough volume for any room. If we turn it up to 100% volume, the sound power reaches almost 90 decibels and in my experience, you will not need to have it at that much power because it is deafening. But this projector is not just about power. Wombo highlights the name Mozart because it has integrated a sophisticated audio system within this projector. It has two powerful 8-watt speakers and a high-quality subwoofer and together they can provide sound in an area of up to 60 M2. The secret is in its auditory cavity, or resonance volume of 660 cubic centimeters, which is one of the largest in projectors. As far as I'm concerned, the designers of the Mozart 1 have practically put a Bluetooth speaker inside, and if you don't believe me, just look at this little proof. This is how a song sounds on my cell phone. This is how it sounds on the Transmart T7. And this is how it sounds in Mozart 1. I will connect my PS5 to it to project it on all 150 inches of my white screen. 
This is a good test to measure how much the brightness is reduced, since the larger the projected screen, the lower the brightness, because it is the same amount of light that is distributed over a larger projection surface. Well, it does lower the brightness a little, but believe me friend, the images are still incredible. A super playable experience with this combination, Mozart 1 and PS5. Something that surprised me is that I have spent many hours playing games and watching movies, and the Mozart 1 barely warmed up. It has a large front heatsink, with two fans which do their cooling job very well. These images, according to Wanbo, are due to its most powerful projection technology to date, and this is its fifth generation called Pixel Pro 5.0. This achieves a contrast of 3000 to 1. In addition, the images are aligned and restored by its lens, which consists of five different layers, and makes the Mozart 1 achieve great image quality. I like what I see. Big, clear, bright and very colorful images. I think I could get used to this projector. While it is true that it has excellent sound, it wouldn't be bad to try its Bluetooth connection with something even more powerful, like the Halo 200 from Tronsmart, right? And that's what I'll do, because some crazy people like to play games and watch movies with strong deep bass. <laughs> The Bluetooth connection is easy and fast, and believe me, it makes playing at another level. A projector with many lumens like this one. It is advisable to use it at more than 120 inches preferably. It is not advisable to use it at less than 100 inches, because on a smaller screen you will notice that there is excess brightness, and that will show images that appear more burnt. <laughs> Observe this effect of a white screen. When I cross in front of the screen, the light from the projector illuminates me and you can see me easily. That doesn't happen when I walk past a gray screen. Keep that in mind when that happens in a minute. The best thing you can do when you have a projector like this is to buy a gray reflective fabric, my friend. I have a gray fabric, 140 inches on the other side of my white screen because I made this screen reversible, and that way I can test the projectors with the two types of wallpaper, and usually on reflective gray fabric. I like the projection better. The images are much more colorful, at least for me, because there are some people who don't like it, and I respect them. But each one with their tastes. Even if you don't believe me, here I am with light from my living room, and the images already look much better. And this is what I meant. When I walk in front of the gray screen, as you see, it seems that the light from the projector does not illuminate me as well as on the white screen. This is an effect created by all the light that reflects the gray fabric towards my camera, and that causes the diaphragm to close a little. <laughs> There will be those who will tell you that this projector is not good, but also the way you test it leaves a lot to be desired. I liked it. Because if you give this Wombo Mozart 1 all the necessary conditions, you will finally have a true home theater. Big, beautiful images and exceptional sound. But I'm also honest and I know it's not the best. But for $320 it's not a bad investment at all. <laughs> the 
The Mozart one is a good projector, typical for this price range. In quality, I put it at the level of the KP2. It's a shame that I didn't have the time to do a versus, but I promise I will because they are very similar projectors. The most notable thing, without a doubt, is its sound, clean and powerful, the best sound of the projectors I have reviewed. Practically, it is like having two devices for the price of one, a projector and a Bluetooth speaker. So, looking at it from that perspective, it solves two problems. But also, keep in mind, it is still a mid-range projector, it is LCD and Full HD. It's not DLP, nor 4 Kelvin, but for about $320 it's very attractive. It is a little more expensive than the KP2, yes, but perhaps, that is compensated by the ANSI lumens. Later, we will see in my verses, which is better. Give me your like if you want me to face these two greats of the projection my friend. And don't forget to subscribe, because I'm already thinking about the new October draw. You know, a giveaway every month. Help me, and let's democratize technology. Until the next video.